Global shortages caused by the Russia-Ukraine conflict pushed Zimbabwe to roll out a plan to achieve wheat self-sufficiency. It expanded the state-sponsored command agriculture program and allowed private players to contract farmers and enter into joint ventures. The private sector players indeed supported over 33% to the total hectare that is of 79,000. So they supported almost 30,000 hectares of wheat uh, this uh, this year. We believe that by crowding in, it's more sustainable to crowd in the participation of uh, private sector rather than a situation whereby government will fund 100% of agriculture uh, in an economy. It, it's not sustainable. Zimbabwe is projecting a record 380,000 ton harvest, about 20,000 tons more than local annual consumption. On average, Zimbabwe has been importing about 300,000 metric tons of wheat with around 125 million. So in effect, if there is a bumper harvest, obviously it does help in terms of foreign currency savings, that's number one. Then number two, because of the war and obviously global shift in terms of commodity prices, um, it also helps to reduce the amount of imported inflation. The price of a loaf of bread has gone up by more than 100% in local currency since the onset of the conflict in Eastern Europe. With a number of new dams being built to improve irrigation capacity, an anticipated increase in private finance inflows and expansion of extension services, the country may soon shed off its net importer tag. We believe that it's more sustainable to even increase our hectares from the current 79,000, maybe to even almost 100,000 hectares. Then we'll be aiming to even export into the, to the region. The government is also enhancing mechanization. Facilities to buy or lease tractors, combine harvesters and other equipment supplied by reputable international manufacturers are being availed through a number of local financial institutions. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.